Hey, what's up? Today I'm going to show you how to install Waterfox onto um, any distro that it's not on the repository for. So in this tutorial, I'll be using Solus. On Arch, you can use the AUR usually, but basically this tutorial will be for Solus, but it works for other distros too. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, um, whoops. The first thing we're going to want to do is download the waterfox.desktop file. So you're just going to click... You're going to navigate to p.technic.io slash rls0e. The link will also be in the description. And we're going to click on save file. Just download it. So once we're done with that, we're going to navigate. Whoops. We're going to navigate to waterfoxproject.org. No spaces or anything. Link will also be in the description. Now we're going to want to click on desktop browser. And then download Waterfox. Now click on download Waterfox again. And then click on save file. Once this is done, we're going to um, open the downloads folder. And we're going to want to rename the file RLS0E. We're going to rename that to waterfox.desktop. So once we're done with that, we're just going to drag these both to the desktop. So yeah. So now the next thing we're going to want to do is extract it to the desktop. So give it a second. Could have right clicked and clicked extract. Don't know why I didn't do that. <laughs> Once it's done reading it, you're just going to want to drag and drop it to the desktop. This will take a second. Okay. Um, by the way, I'm listening to music <laughs> while I record this. As you can see, oh, this song is kind of bad. Whatever, oh, I'll just play with it. <laughs> anyway, so now that we've extracted it, feel free to delete the zip file. Now we're going to want to open up our terminal window. And if you're on Solus, Gnome, or Budgie, um, you're going to want to type sudo nautilus. If you're on Solus, Mate, you're going to want to type sudo I th saja, I think. Um, yeah. Um, let me check. Yeah, it's Saja. Um, and if you're on KDE, I don't know what to tell you. If you're on, um, because KDE, um, unfortunately, you can't use, um, use Dolphin as root. Um, the Solus team might fix that, but, um, um, I haven't tried Solus KDE, but when it comes out, um, there might be a chance that you can't use Dolphin, and you'll have to do this through the terminal. So, we're going to want to open up Nautilus using sudo Nautilus. And we're going to want to navigate to user and lib. From here, you could just drag and drop the Waterfox folder into user lib. And, yeah. So now, it's pretty much installed. However, we need to make a... Um, make it so we can launch it through this. So now we're going to go navigate to user, share, applications, and then we're going to drag and drop our waterfox.desktop file. As you can see, there it is. So now we're going to want to, we can launch it using this. Um, so, um, as you can see, we can launch it using, um, the at the menu and yeah unfortunately i don't know for uh, i don't know a hundred percent if you can launch it using the terminal however um if you type if you in a terminal if you type um what if you type um user share waterfox oops waterfox 
Water Fox. Or not user share, user Y, Water Fox. Water Fox. Oops. Um, what is it? Hold on. <laughs> Didn't mean to close this earlier. So if you run this, um, here we go. Um, as you can see, if you type user live water, um, user slash live slash water fox slash water fox, you can run it in the terminal. Um, however, you can't run it by typing just water fox. As you can see, if I control C and run just water fox, as you can see, the command isn't found. So if you'd like to run water fox in the terminal, you'd have to type slash user slash live slash water fox slash water fox. So yeah, um, thanks for watching this video on how to install Waterfox in Solus. If you have any questions, just comment them below. Um, I'll have the link to both websites mentioned in the description. And yeah, see ya.